In a past life as a bird I died by flying through the window of a vegan bakery. Come on and eat me, I cried as I swooped through the sky, but they just heard it as chirping, basically. Hello there, welcome to our February 2022 membership meeting. As you can see, we're going virtual for this time around, and we will let you know when we'll do in-person membership meetings again. I also want to let you know that at each one of our meetings, we invite people to become members. And so if you're not yet a member, please come and join us. And if you know of anyone else that is not a member, please invite them. You do not have to be a member to come out on our artist directory, but we are inviting you to participate in that. And all you need is your name, your medium, your art medium, and a contact information. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to submit a picture and you don't need to be a member, although we're really encouraging that. Uh, I'm really excited to let you know that we have an awesome presenter, Michael Jasso of Loudmouth Poetry Slam, in just a few moments. We are also uh, having our executive director give you an update, telling you what, what's going on with the Arts Consortium, because we don't stand still. If you have announcements, all you have to do is go to hello at artsconsortium.org and post your announcements there. And we thank you so much for joining us today. And please note that our next meeting will be on March the 8th. So see you then. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to February's membership meeting for the Arts Consortium. My name is Michael Hasso. I am a local spoken word artist. I am also the founder and lead organizer for Visalia's Loudmouth Poetry Jam, the Central Valley's premier spoken word venue in Visalia for the past 10 years. Well, I was really involved with poetry and uh, the Creative Writing Club at my high school campus back in 2012. Immediately after graduation, I started looking up potential venues and finding spaces for us to perform in, and I wanted the opportunity to get to have a space and have a venue where we could get other poets, other performers, and just other creative types all together in general. And I was at the point where the, when I was looking up venues, when I was looking up for spaces to perform, the closest one to me was in Fresno, but other than that, there were other venues that were just out of my reach at the time, like Bay Area, Los Angeles, and all the other major cities. And I thought that the Central Valley has such a rich history when it comes to creative writing and to poetry as it is that why not have a venue? Why not have something in the South Valley that celebrates the poets and the artists from this community? And thankfully, we've been able to continue doing slams and spoken word open mic nights and readings featuring many poets, many artists uh, for the past 10 years. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this continues to grow and how we can continue being an essential part of the community. Uh, the Loudmouth basically uh, starts with a simple format of gathering people together at a space and organizing competitions known as poetry slams, where people bring their own original poetry to perform in front of a live audience, and then that audience will evaluate and score their poems, and at the end of the night, whoever is our top scoring poet gets to go home with a cash prize. In that, it leads to the promotion of art, it leads to the promotion of what poetry is and what poetry can be, and it brings together so many different talented individuals from so many different backgrounds, so many different stories to tell, and it's all just in this beautiful collaborative space. My role specifically with The Loudmouth is, I was the one who started uh, hosting events 10 years ago, so in it, I've come to wear many hats between booking venues, booking artists, and booking performers, as well as running scores, running uh, the scoring, running the emceeing of the events as well, and also just being the general person who is in contact with all the artists and all the audience members involved with promotion, with... Uh, finding individuals to attend, and just the marketing in general. So, uh, yeah, 
I pretty much take care of everything from the bottom up. <laughs> so the Loudmouth has made it its goal to get artists from the Central Valley onto a bigger platform. We've pushed uh, local poets from our communities to compete and participate, not just in our local events, but to go and participate in events outside of the Valley as much as they can, as often as they can. In it, it has led to opportunities for us to send poets from Visalia, from Fresno, and from all sorts of other of our small community towns surrounding us to national level competitions. We've gotten to participate in the National Poetry Slam up in Oakland. We've gotten to send individual representatives to all of the the major poetry slam competitions out there including the individual world poetry slam the women of the world poetry slam and most recently we sent two poets from the central valley to the stonewall international poetry slam that took place in baltimore of last october in that we had our first central valley representative make it onto the final stage in jose jimenez performing at the Stonewall International Poetry Slam, which after so many years of working towards this goal, we finally got our poet onto such a huge platform and such a stage that is going to open up his career in performance in so many different opportunities. That's our community has grown to the level that it has reached through the most traditional form of promotion, word of mouth. Even if you aren't able to attend a slam, uh, maybe giving us a share of a post or liking our statuses and letting others know that we're out here and that we're doing these events and support videos that we put out. We're looking to begin putting out content more regularly on a YouTube page. All it takes is uh, that level of support. If you would like to continue uh, supporting projects, we do accept donations in the form of Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Uh, if you would like to stay connected, the best way to stay up on to date with our events and with other community-related projects related to the Loudmouth, you can find us on our Facebook page, Loudmouth Poetry Jam, or you can also hit us up on Instagram, at Loudmouth Poetry Jam. Starting on Friday, February 4th, we will be hosting a bi-weekly workshop series at Component Coffee Lab, one to three, every first and third Friday of the month. So if you have been interested in learning more about the craft of spoken word, what it takes to become a spoken word artist, or even just want to brainstorm some ideas and get feedback from other local artists in your community, this would be the great space to come and do so and to get to know our poets in the community. I'm definitely a Visalia kid. I was born and raised in this community, and I have, I'm very passionate about not just Visalia, but the Central Valley as a whole. Um, I think we get, we end up being the butt of a lot of jokes. I feel that there are a lot of things that get looked down upon us being from the Central Valley, but honestly, this is my home, and this is where. I see myself establishing. This is why I wanted to bring this level of art to my community. This is why I wanted to have that exposure because I wanted to show that we're not just some small town in the middle of California, that we are a home for art and artists. And I think, especially now more than ever, our art is needed in these times. I think too, uh, the biggest thing moving forward is especially to know that art is still important to all of us. And no matter how trying times get or how stressful things can be, art is a necessity. And I hope through groups like the Arts Consortium, I think through collaboration with other folks within our community, I uh, will have that opportunity and looking forward to seeing where that can go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our newest virtual membership meeting. Thank you for joining us in person, and now thank you for joining us uh, virtually. We hope everybody's safe and healthy. Uh, we want to thank everybody who is involved uh, with our first Friday, namely our marketing coordinator, Pam, 
and our graphic designer Ed, who put together a wonderful gallery uh, last last month, and then this month uh, followed up with our Poetry Out Loud competition, which um, we had actually had two separate versions of it. The the traditional county competition with the champions from Mission Oak High School, Tulare Union High School, and Dinuba High School. Uh, so con congratulations, first of all, for reaching that point in the competition for being your high school champions. And then we had the actual county competition. Um, and on top of that, we had our People's Choice uh, Award, which you participated in. So thank you for that. Uh, we, we're really, really happy to announce that Evelyn Jamie from Dinuba High School was our county champion. So she is the winner of $500, and she will represent Tulare County at our state finals coming up next month. She was also the winner of our People's Choice Award. So congratulations, Evelyn Jamie from Dinuba High School. We also want to give a really big thanks to Tulare County Office of Education, Kate Stober and Paula Terrell for doing all of the all of the work in coordinating the high schools, getting the champions together, getting the coaches together, and uh, helping us put on this, this awesome event every year. If you haven't gotten a chance to go over to our YouTube channel and check out these amazing poets, please do so. It's still up. Uh, you can still hit the like button, but the contest is already over. The Arts Consortium has a new phone number. Our new location has required that we switch over, so uh, it's 559-772-0001. Uh, for those of you who may need it, our mailing address is also changed. Um, it is uh, P.O. Box 2696 in Visalia, California, 93279. The South Valley Art Tour is still in the books for March 26 and 27. Passports are on sale. If you haven't gotten yours yet, uh, please uh, consider joining us for a huge adventure going through the studios and uh, creative spaces in Tulare County, see all the faces and places behind the best art in Tulare County. Yeah, if you haven't gone on our website and checked out the various artist opportunities that are available, uh, we still have our watermark contest, and we are just looking for the best art that you put together in the last year. So uh, starting from last July to the present, uh, we're just looking for the best art that you have, the newest art, and uh, and you'll have a chance at, at $500 and having a full uh, page spread in our upcoming magazine. And speaking of our magazine, it's uh, already at the printers, so we're just waiting for it. And then we'll have our 2021-2022 uh, Watermark magazine ready for you. If you submitted work for the Permit Center art purchase, the county is still getting together and, and looking through those, so don't be discouraged. No one has been selected or de denied yet, so uh, that's still in the process, and we will keep you updated, and we'll let you know as soon as anything has been decided. Uh, we also have the Visalia Art Outdoors micro-grant program, and if you haven't heard about that, the idea is that we bring our community together in a safe way that allows people to celebrate and participate in the arts. And so if you have any ideas for that, uh, you can reach out to me at 559-772-0001 at ampelio at artsconsortium.org or through hello at artsconsortium.org. And we'll make sure to answer any questions. And hopefully you'll get yourself a micro grant. The limit at the moment is about $2,500. The good thing is that there is no matching funds required for this. And we're just, we're just looking to bring the arts to our community. Then there's the Mosaic Tile Bridge Project. We are still looking for proposals. Uh, so they're looking for two tiles at one foot by three foot. We do ask that you incorporate at least one of those creatures per tile in your proposals. And uh, and we still have our our Tulare County Artist Master List, as, as Rita mentioned. And, and don't miss out on including yourself there. We want to say a, a great thanks to, um, to Lucia Vasquez who is the director of our special program called the Chicano Art Heritage Engagement Project. They have joined the, uh, the Cultural Heritage Center. Uh, if you haven't been there, it's an amazing place uh, for people of all ages. It's just at the south end of Locust, where it meets Tulare, a uh, little house right there. Um, look them up, give them a call. Uh, they'd be happy to see you. Uh, the My Voice Media Center will be uh, hosting at least one session there coming up, possibly two. 
Um, so we're really excited for that partnership. Speaking of partners with the My Voice Media Center, we want to give a shout out to CASA of Tulare County for uh, allowing us to host youth sessions there as well, which are going incredibly, incredibly well. And uh, we're, we're getting a lot of feedback and it's, it's just amazing to uh, go in there, see see the, the kids, uh, you know, show up. They're kind of shy, kind of quiet. Um, by the time they leave, they have uh, grins from ear to ear and, and they can't stop sharing uh, everything they learned. So um, thank you, Casa. Uh, you all are amazing. We want to thank Michael Jasso. The Loudmouth Poetry Slam has been going on for, for many years. And if you haven't had the chance to go check that out, we really encourage you to do so. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of exciting things happening, and he's going to actually be helping us out here at the My Voice Media Center as well. And speaking of the My Voice Media Center, we are back on an optional basis. So if you or someone you know could benefit from uh, free art training as mental health outreach, please uh, have them call us at our new phone number, 772-0001, and we'll make sure to get them in a session. Uh, what I mean by optional is that some of our facilitators have chosen to go virtual. So they're doing some of their sessions on Zoom. And then there are others who have chosen to be here in person. So if you're somebody who would rather be here in person, then we have that option as well in uh, a variety of different art forms. And thank you all for joining us. Uh, that's that's it for me today. Uh, I hope that uh, we see you in person here and there. I hope that you keep making art. I hope that you share your art with us and the rest of our community. You have a great day. Past life as a bird, I died by flying through the window of a vegan bakery. Come on and eat me, I cried as I swooped through the sky, but they just heard it as chirping, basically.